Good morning. I've just woken up. I just want to get comfortable with you guys because we're all locked down. I feel like this is most of our looks right now is all, you know, pyjamas. But anyway, I just wanted to provide you with some top quarantine content. Like this video is gonna be based on baking with no flour. And the reason for this is flour is one of those items that I can't get hold of anywhere. I know people have their loo roll, pasta and bread, but I feel like I'm living in the Victorian ages when I can say we have no flour in the house. It's a little bit, but it needs to last for important stuff. Yes, we have rationalized flour. So I was thinking in my head, maybe I can do some bakes with no flour because I know, you might want to see that. So two of these recipes I've done a few times because, you know, my baking went really well last time. It just didn't rise, okay. <laughs> That's the two cake. Yes. The reason why I'm filming this first video in the morning because this, um, this is a breakfast item, the first bake I'm going to do. So yeah, I think it's a bake anyway. They're on Bake Off, so apparently pancakes are a bake. First of all, I need coffee. So yeah, all you need for this recipe is literally one ripe banana and one egg. Uh, you throw them in the mixing jug just like that and the egg. I recommend mashing the banana beforehand like I didn't do because I'm an idiot. Mash, mash, mash. This is going to be a bit lumpier than your average pancake mix as you can see. There's still some lumps in there. Don't worry too much. just added a bit of cinnamon there. Uh, just, but it's got a nice natural sweetener on its own. Uh, make sure your pan's well oiled around the sides and everything. I mean, I, I usually get my mum to do this because I'm really not good at this part like at all. But yeah, just just watch it like sizzle away there. Yeah, I put it on too hot. Make sure it's a medium heat. I put it on a high heat and uh, yeah, this happens in a second. Yeah, where, when, where does it happen? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it just spits at me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I still have that burn now. Uh, it goes brown really quickly, but um, it, it didn't taste burnt. It tastes really nice, actually, for once. Um, but yeah, you can. it's naturally sweet, but you can add like a golden syrup like I have. But yeah, it's quite nice. Okay, on with the next one. Percy, are you excited? No, it hates me per usual. So for my next no flour recipe, this is one I do quite a lot, actually. Um, it's like flapjacks. There's so much different things you can really experiment. But this time I'm literally just going to have a lemon and honey. So it's really I usually use honey to sweeten it anyway, but I'm going to call them honey and lemon flapjacks. But you can add like currants, dark chocolate, anything like that. I'm um, also going to bind it together with butter and an egg. It's even more healthier and you can bind it together with like coconut milk or, or almond milk or you can go fully vegan and use like maybe golden syrup to sweeten it. My very, oh, I hope I'm not going to get pl product placement for this. This is Melanie's Fat Jacks. Enjoy. I'm going to put melted butter in here to like mix it together. Uh, I kind of stolen off my sister a little bit so I'll have to give her some credit. Uh, you don't really want it to be like too wet though to be honest so I've used about one stick of butter I'm not sure, yeah that's not enough we need more butter in this bad boy <laughs> using all of the butter so I say like judging by try and error about one one and a half sticks mm, it smells like popcorn <laughs> that's not Good. For this one, for Mel's one, we're using an egg. And if you want, you can have like loads of different nuts and stuff. Even some Walker's crisps, just crunch them up, put them in there. All right, without this, it will taste like shite. So uh, honey, I use a good amount, but it all depends if you've got a sweet tooth or not. Great in some only morn. Oh, it makes me cringe doing this, I don't know why. That's good. <gasps> Okay, you didn't see, but I added a bit more oats and butter. I am making a relatively small amount, so it's just because basically uh, I've got another bake to do and I don't want it to go off. So um, it all it's all based on like how many kids you have. And I've only got one and that's Percy. Kind of like the cakey taste to it it turns to when I add the egg. <gasps> I'm bleeding. I'm back from that emergency, so I nearly fainted. There was so much blood. That noise is the oven, you preheat it to 190. About 30 minutes, and then it looks fine then, and then I always overdo it and put five more minutes, and then it's a little bit burnt around the sides. I love bacon. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. 
have enough for the tray it would have been too too small if i uh, spread it out but hopefully you'll have the right equipment but i'm hoping you'll actually follow a better recipe than mine it's not burnt it's just golden brown Honestly, these are probably the best ones I've made. This flavour combination was really good. Um, they're not your standard flapjack, the dryness of them. They're kind of more of a, you know, those breakfast bakes you get. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed these. Hello. Hello, so this is our third and final bake with no flour. Um, apparently, all you need is peanut butter, one egg, and a cup of sugar. I don't mind peanut butter, but Please don't get offended, um, American peoples. Um, it's okay. It's nice with chocolate and sweet things like nut butters. Oh, mm. like on its own, it's just like squirrel paste. Really, it just sticks to the roof of your mouth. Now, food you can eat on its own, and it's delicious. It's Nutella. Oh, I love Nutella. And apparently, <laughs> no measurements again. But it's going to be about a cup of sugar. Egg. I don't bash it. On plastic. Ooh. One egg. Make sure you don't get the shell. We're pretty much using this whole thing of peanut butter. You can go. For, apparently, you can go for smooth or crunchy, but like, I don't know. Smooth peanut butter is. I think that's wrong, man. Just get. This doesn't. This is not gonna work. You hear me breathing heavily. This is. Big. The entire thing. Yeah. Pretty much that. I'm a little bit closer. Closer. Do you remember Neo? What happened to him? Okay, we're about to do something pretty dangerous, and that's uh, using the electric whisk. R.I.P. Mel Quinn. Oh, ah, I don't like it, it's too much force. That's what she said. <laughs> Blowing down, it's so, it's so thick. Let's boost her up, shall we? Yeah. Oh my god, it's flying at me. Jeez, so a lot of the nuts have like actually separated. Oh mate. So the nuts have like actually separated from it. So with clean hands, I think what he did is roll them into balls. Yeah. So uh so I'd say a heat tea tea heat teaspoon. I'd say the oven to 180 apparently. So um, yeah, to make them cookie like, I think you have to uh, do a little bit of a this to each one. Oh no. Whoa. We nearly lost them boys. 10, 15 minutes, let's go 10 just to be safe. Percy's like, I hope this goes wrong for you. Okay, I always, always seem to burn something. <laughs> Just don't look at that batch, don't look at that batch. But this batch, they look all right, actually. I mean, these six, yeah, I deserve a Hollywood pool handshake, definitely. They're really delicate, like they like literally feel like they're gonna like bend and fall apart. But um, let's try it, shall we? That is banging, like it's got a really chewy, nice taste to it. It's really flimsy, like I'm pretty sure these ones are gonna fall apart. But yeah, it, it works. I would make them a bit smaller than I did, um, but yeah, recommended. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of content. I'm just like, trying to keep the mood positive. Uh, feel free to follow along, but I wouldn't recommend. I'm not much of a baker. But anyway, I hope that was wholesome enough for you. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. Okay, bye. Anyone for